First of all, well done on uh, winning the Player of the Month award. How pleased are you to, to have won that? Uh, thank you. Um, yeah, I am. I am very pleased. It's, uh, the, the lads have been doing well and um, obviously it's nice to for myself to be rewarded with that um, through the fans. So, um, look, uh, at the end of the day, look, the fans and, have been a big part of me being here um, and uh, they played a big part in our performances as well. So for them to, to then give it back to me as well um, is, is, is nice. Yeah, how much does it mean to you that, that they're the ones who have voted you? Yeah, it, it means a lot. Obviously, being a lone player as well, it's obviously difficult to adapt. Um, but to get that support from the fans is, is fantastic. Um, and, you know, look, hopefully we can, performances can back up for what the fans are producing as well. How have you found playing in front of them overall? Obviously, with big crowds at Hillsborough and big followings away from home as well. It's been, it's been amazing, to be honest. Um, having 20 odd thousand every week uh, at Hillsborough has been fantastic. And obviously, away, um, away support as well has been phenomenal, selling out a uh, majority of the away games, which has been phenomenal, really. Do you feel that your sort of performances this season are just going from strength to strength? Obviously, you had a, a bit of an injury setback when you first joined, but it just feels like there's been a constant rise since getting back into the team. Yeah, look, uh, you know, the longer I'm here, um, the more I can get comfortable with the lads playing style, what the gaffer wants. Um, and for me, it's just just improving each game, um, getting to grips with the league, the opposition, and obviously the teammates here as well. Um, but obviously, it's been it's been going well, so it's been easy for me to adapt. I suppose that rise was epitomised by your, your first goal for the club as well. Tell us about that feeling, first goal in front of the cop as well. Yeah, well, I, I always imagine me scoring in front of the home fans there. Um, obviously, we switched as well uh, in that game, so um, it was just a coincidence that I managed to score uh, in front of the, the guys there. So um, it was great. But obviously, when you've got Baz delivering balls in like that, it's, uh, it's easy for me. I just have to get a little flick on. Um, but it's a part of my game. Obviously, I want to be um, scoring more goals, so hopefully I can chip in a couple more this season. Yeah. Did you feel a bit of pressure to, to get a goal? There's that many goal scorers this season. I suppose no one wants to be left out at this point, do they? That's that's it, look, as there's only a few of us who haven't been on the score sheet now, so so yeah, it was nice for me to get my name on there, but as I said, it's something that I, want, I would like to have done anyway, so I'm glad that I'm, I'm up and running, hopefully more to come. When you, when you won this award and we put the, the post out on social media, a couple of the lads, I think it was Stockholm and Baz and others as well, they, they commented as well to say how much you deserved it. How much does it mean to you to get that support from the dressing room, especially in a, in a public forum like that? Yeah, it means a lot. As I said, when you're a lone player, um, sometimes it might be difficult to come into squads and adapt to guys who've been here for a couple of years and whatever, but the lads here are brilliant. Um, and to get that support from them just helps me then relax a bit more so then I can go and play better on the, on the field. I saw a couple of comments from family members, I think, as well. Obviously, they're no doubt they're keeping an eye on what you're doing and happy. How are you doing here? Yeah, yeah, they're always supportive. Um, they're chipping here and there. I know they, they're very supportive and they can come up, they come up as, uh, as often as they can. But, um, yeah, they've always been supportive of me, so it's nice as well. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but is it, is it your brother? Does he represent England at, at bowls? Yes. Is that right? Does that is, is it just is it dad as well? Is it? Yeah. So my dad obviously he um, he's represented England uh, Commonwealth Games, and uh, my brother is, he's 24 and he's he's on that path as well. He's he's been playing for England and um, got a sporty family, so um, they've been doing well and. Um, it's uh, it's just a whole sporty family, which is nice. Was that an option for you, Bowlesy? Any good? <laughs> Do you know? I think I picked the right sport. I think I picked the right sport. I think uh, I prefer football than bowls. But look, it's any any sport to be a high level like that, you have to have a certain level of skill, and um, look, they they've done very well. So um, you know, I support them as much as they support me. Would you say you're better at bowls than your brother is at football? Well, that's up for debate. I would like to think so, but that's up for debate. <laughs> I suppose from the outside looking at it, it's quite strange because there's, there's such a juxtaposition in sports. I know you say you're a sporty family, but they're, they're just total opposites, aren't they, really? They are, but look, it's, you have to be a certain person to have the dedication to get to the top level. Uh, obviously, that is the top level in, in the sport. Um, so it's just that mentality and that, that drive to get to the top level. And it um, doesn't matter if you're playing whatever, whatever sport you're playing, um, to get to the top level of anything is, is an achievement. So. Um, um, they do have some uh, similarities there. And as you mentioned, moving away there, obviously you've come here, that comes with living in a new city as well. How, how are you finding just being around Sheffield? It's, it's been great. Um, although I haven't done too much exploring yet, it's, uh, it's, the schedule's been quite hectic. So I've, uh, I've been up and up and about a little bit, but um, I'm due to do a bit more exploring anyway. Going back to sort of, sort of your, your style of play and, and, and 
and how and what you bring to the team. It's easy to forget you're only 21 years, years old. You sort of play with a with an older head, if if you like. Is that something that's just always always been the case with you? That sort of composure and that that maturity when you're playing. Yeah, look, I'm I'm 21, probably going on 35. But, um, but that's uh, yeah. I think when you're playing centre back, it's it's always important that you're sort of you're quite reliable and you you sort of have that authority there because it's a position where you make one mistake and it can lead to a goal. So I think you you have to have that sort of uh, composure and that sort of older head about you. Um, and you're playing against top strikers as well, um, some older, some younger. So um, it's just about experience for me, and this is perfect. It's, well, it's been perfect for me. Um, don't know how many games it's been, 13, 14 games, whatever um, more. But it's just building on them games, and the more experience I get, the the better it will be. I suppose you need that level head as well when there's been there's been a few different combinations at the back as well this season. Obviously, some people have had to fill in where one of us have got injured. Obviously, we've got a couple of lads out now. I suppose that maturity and that level headedness helps in that sense as well. Yeah, well, exactly. The, the the squad depth is fantastic. You, you've seen it. Some guys have been injured, unfortunately, but guys have come in and, and done the job, and we've uh, we, we've been doing well. We've kept kept the points coming, um, and you know that will carry on throughout the season. The injuries are part of football, um, but if we can limit that, but as I said, this, the squad depth is fantastic, so um, anyone coming in will definitely be able to do the job. Obviously, the World Cup's on at the minute. No doubt you've still got international aspir aspirations of your own. Of course, that's always a big aspiration for me to play in the Ireland senior team. Um, done very well with the under 21s, uh, it's been a fantastic experience over there with them. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't go to the, the European qualifiers, um, the playoff, sorry, um, which was a big miss, but that's obviously that's under 21 football done for me. So the next step is first team uh, senior football, um, which would be a nice achievement if I can get that in the next year or two. Um, but again, it's just it's an added bonus on top of uh, club football. And we're now sort of approaching the halfway point as well in the season. How, how do you feel we're looking overall? Look, we, we've, been, we've been going well. We've been collecting some good points. Um, I mean, I'm beating how many games? We've kept in, uh, numerous clean, clean sheets. So, look, we're on a, we're on a good, we're on good track. Um, it's a long season, um, but we'll get to January, see where we're at, and then we can assess things again. Now, I've got some uh, some quick fire questions. Some of these have been sent in by fans, so. Uh, so we'll start. We'll start from the top. So uh, your biggest role model in football? That could be someone you've played with, or just someone. In football, wow, um, that's a tough one. Uh, I always, always enjoyed watching John Terry when I was younger, um, as a as a centre half. When you were sort of coming through, that it was a, a see, maybe a senior pro when you were a younger player, maybe at Arsenal or elsewhere, where they've sort of put your arm around you as someone that you looked up to in that sense. Um, it's, well, obviously, we've gone, been going through Arsenal uh, since I was 10. I've had some fantastic teammates and um, working with when Arsene Wenger was the manager and some of the players that I was lucky enough to train with a few times. You know, there was the likes of, you know, one well, my sacker was actually, he was, um, he was obviously playing and then he became academy manager. So I had a good relationship with him. Obviously, you don't, you don't win World Cups and get how many um, caps for um, Arsenal without being a fantastic player. So um, he, was, he was one that um, I kept um, close with. Um, obviously, I had Steve Bold as well as my manager. So I had a, I've been very lucky to have a lot of, <coughs> of centre-halves to, um, to work under. This is a bit different, this one. Do you like Guinness? I do like Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you don't get to enjoy it too much, though. Uh, I don't, unfortunately, but yes, I do. That would be my choice if I if I was allowed to have one. That would be my choice. Uh, what's your favourite cereal? So I don't I don't have um, don't eat cereal. Um, never really had cereal. Um, I'm pretty sure probably when I was younger I had the cocoa pops and all that. But uh, do you know what? I, can't, I I never have cereal really. Um, ever since I was younger, just like toast or um, porridge. Fair dues. Um, what's been your favourite game this season? I think either obviously my debut, which was which was great, um, winning against Bowen, or when I've scored. Um, there's no better feeling, I guess, than keeping a clean sheet and scoring. Uh, you'll probably be able to guess who sent this next question in. Uh, what's your favourite yoga pose? <laughs> the warrior pose. That's uh, that's probably all I know. So that I, that's all. <laughs> um, who do you think is the best player in the world right now? <laughs> Wow. Um, best player in the world right now, I think it's got to be Messi. I think, um, obviously, club and country. 
um, I was always a big Ronaldo fan as well but I think just with things happening with clubs and stuff right now this minute I think he's got to be up there uh, would you rather execute a goal line clearance or score a goal? Oh, goal line clearance, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's your favourite cheat meal? Um, whew, I love I love burgers. So if I'm having a cheat meal, I'm having a good burger, stacking it up, a couple, couple pieces of meat in there, cheese, the full lot, full shebang. <laughs> uh, what's been the best moment of your career so far? Um, Ooh. Best moment was probably uh, well international football has obviously been fantastic as well for me. Uh, I got to the European semi-finals with Ireland under 19s, which was an amazing experience to be out in Armenia for that long uh, and doing so well in such a prestigious competition. Um, but I think just in terms of, I think just you know. Been able to play as many games as I have so far. Um, being 21, I think yeah, I've been fortunate. So, just in general, the amount of games I've been I've played over the last three years, um, I've been very lucky. So, um, but hopefully, it's more to come. What music do you listen to? Oh, that's that's a hard question. I listen to every type of music possible. Um, I, I love my music, so uh, varies. Uh, I could be listening to. Um, I could be listening to country and I could be listening to um, garage, I could be listening to R&B, I could be listening to anything. Um, I do love my music, so I, I like to have chop and change. Do you get much say what's played in the dressing room? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> um, what's your favourite TV show? Favourite TV show? I'll be honest, I don't watch too much TV, but... Um, um, if I had to choose a favourite TV programme. Do you know what, I couldn't even answer that question. Um, I lo I, do you know what, I quite like Suits as a series. Uh, but again, as I said, I'm not really a big uh, watcher of TV. Um, don't ask me what I do in my time, but <laughs> it's not TV. <laughs> um, and uh, finally, uh, if you weren't a footballer, what would you be? Um, I'd be a tennis player. When I was younger, I used to play tennis, and so I always wanted to be an athlete, but that was my main sport when I was younger, so uh, who would have known could have been a tennis player. Avoiding bowls at all costs then, it's not even a backup. Definitely, I don't want to, I hope my parents aren't watching, I'm a family, but yes. Yeah. <laughs>